All right, I heard you say rain. Thunderstorms, okay. lightning. Oh. That's the I only know. way we can cool off is head to the thunderstorm rooms. <laughs> or really. the beach. <laughs> yeah, the beach was pretty hot still today, though. So, you know, hopefully you got to go to the beach and you got to enjoy the water, get in the water. That was the place to be because it was still very warm pretty much anywhere out there today. Now, if you were in the mountains watching us from the mountains, it was cooler for you guys, but it is very muggy up there. So we have a lot of instability in the atmosphere. We have very humid air that we're dealing with, and we have some cumulus clouds. Starting to build over the mountain areas. That's why we're seeing these thunderstorms start to fire off. Taking a look at the beach, though, we have mostly clear skies, a really nice beach day, but a really warm one. We had record heat today in places like downtown up into Ventura County. Let's take a live look at satellite and radar right now. We have a lot of shower activity over the mountains, and we're tracking a pretty strong cell that developed over the Santa Ana Mountains heading toward Orange County. Now, as you can see in this loop, these cells develop over the mountains. They're very strong. They even produce a lot of lightning, and then as they start to track toward the coast, they start to weaken. So don't be surprised if you're in San Juan Capistrano, watching from Laguna Niguel, Dana Point, down to San Clemente, if you see some light showers over the next few minutes from that cell. Also, in the high desert communities, you could see from Wrightwood up toward Lake Los Angeles, tracking some showers as well. We had some thunderstorms develop over Big Bear, and basically what's happening, we have high pressure that's still centered over the four corners. It brought us very warm temperatures today. We had record heat, as I said, and all of the this energy is rotating clockwise around this area of high pressure. So we're tapping into that tropical moisture and it's tracking north, developing. We're seeing those storms develop over the mountains and then a lot of them are moving southwest and toward the coast and starting to diminish as that happens. But still, we've seen hail, we've seen a lot of lightning, even torrential rain for some of you at times. Downtown temperatures made it into the upper 90s. 98 degrees, that is a new record. We should be in the low 80s this time of year. Tomorrow, it'll be a little bit cooler but still warm. If you're not dealing with um, thunderstorms or record heat, you're feeling the humidity out there in places like Fullerton, humidity at 51%, at LAX, 64%, Camarillo, 47%. So it is muggy out there. This is not the SoCal heat we are used to. It feels more like Miami. Winds are on shore, and whenever we see those thunderstorms develop, strong winds are also a very big concern. So that's something to keep an eye on. Excessive heat warnings are in effect until this evening. So relief is on the way. It won't be as hot tomorrow. Our heat advisories will be expired by tomorrow. They're still in effect until 11 o'clock this evening. If you are heading to the beach to escape the heat, keep in mind we do have beach hazard statements in effect. So we'll see sets three to five feet and strong rip currents, a concern until Monday afternoon. Taking you through future cast overnight as the sun goes down, we lose some of that daytime heating. So I don't think we'll have as much of a threat for storms by tomorrow afternoon. Another chance to see those mountain thunderstorms develop that threat continues into Monday as well. So overnight temperatures staying really mild, mid 60s and mid 70s. High temperatures tomorrow, still warm, not as hot. Take a look, a lot of triple digits out there, but some mid 70s, some mid 90s as well. Palm Springs 110. They set a record today at 122, another one. Your extended forecast shows high pressure weakens. We gradually cool down by the middle of the work week, and then we do have another warm up on the way by the end of the work week and into the weekend. Andrea and Peter, back to you. Wow, 122 in Palm Springs. That is nice. ridiculous. Oh, thanks, Danielle.